Hi, I'm Jamie Boreham and this is my vlog on motivation for managing organisations and people. Motivation by the standard definition is having a reason or multiple reasons to behave or act in a particular way. Bratton describes motivation as the cognitive decision making process that influences the effort, persistence and direction of a voluntary goal directed behaviour. Motivation is very important in many aspects of life, especially in the workplace, as it can be part of the driving force leading to a good performance of an employee. In professional organisations, the motivation of individuals is studied as it can determine if someone is turned up to work because they have to for the money or because they want to. Henley Linzel believes we study motivation of people in organisations to make sure they achieve their potential and for attention because we, won't, we don't want to lose anyone from the organisation if they feel like they're not worth anything. As I briefly stated previously, different motivation levels can cause a difference in performance. However, the ability to perform is not completely relying on an individual's motivation levels as knowledge, skills, training and experience also contribute to overall performance. More often than not, performance leads to reward, which again can affect levels of motivation in the workplace. An employee could receive an extrinsic reward, which would be a tangible item such as shop, a shopping voucher, which I have personally received before in my own job as part of the Employee of the Month scheme. They could also receive intrinsic rewards, which would be positive feedback or acknowledgement from a higher up manager. There are two types of theories on the nature of motivation, and they are content theories and process theories. The content theory emphasises on what motivates the individual, whereas process theories emphasise on the actual process of motivation. Hertzberg's two-factor theory is a content theory by Frederick Hertzberg, developed in the 1950s. After carrying out a study on accountants, he found that there are two factors that influence employee motivation and satisfaction. The first is motivator factors, which are factors that motivate employees to work harder and keep them satisfied. An example of a motivator theory could be, a, could be career progression or being recognised for completing a task. Then there is hygiene factors, which can lead to lack of motivation and dissatisfaction of the job if the factors are absent. An example of a hygiene factor could be the relationship an employee has to a manager or their co-workers. Despite being similar, the two factors work independent to each other as it is found that the absence of a motivator factor did not cause dissatisfaction of the job and the presence of hygiene factors did not increase satisfaction. Hertzberg's theory suggests that for a successful workplace where employees are satisfied and motivated, both motivator and hygiene factors should be improved where employees are made to feel appreciated and given positive feedback. This will all come as part of a positive relationship with managers to make sure that employees do not become dissatisfied as they need to feel as though they are fairly treated by being offered good working conditions. Victor Vroom developed the expectancy theory in 1964, which is a process theory. He concluded that motivation is dependent on three factors which are expectancy, instrumentality and valence. The theory mainly relates to motivation in the workplace where employees can choose what they want to do in regard to what motivates them most, which would lead them to being more satisfied as what motivates one person may not motivate another. Expectancy is what the employees expect from their own efforts in relation to good performance. An organisation can respond to the employees expectancy by finding out what motivates them to get the best possible performance out of them. This could be training, support, or better, fa better facilities or tools. Instrumentality is about the employee's performance being good enough for the desired result. An organi organization can often stimulate this by offering rewards, making the employee believe that if they perform well, then appreciation will be shown. Valence is based on employees' individual needs that the organization should find out. This is because different employees may have different values and needs. One employee may prefer money from bonuses and another may prefer more holiday three days off. Room's theory is based on a formula of expectancy times instrumentality times valence, which equals motivational force.